everybody. Happy Saturday. It's Cheryl. Thanks for joining me today on my channel. Hello to all my new subscribers. Um, I just... What are you looking at? They're so nosy. I just thought I would have a... Um, just do an update video today. I don't really have anything to do. I'm not going anywhere. I have a big... Um, to-do list here on the table. I started it last night since I thought I'm not going anywhere today, but I have a million things running around in my head, so I wrote them all down. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things crossed off already. And when I finish this video, I can cross that off as well. Uh, I just, um, just wanted to update you on some things instead of waiting until next Thursday for my next 20 minute drive to Weight Watchers, you know. Um, need to get closer. I had dinner with a friend the other night, Diane. I think I may have mentioned it in a video, I'm not sure. But uh, I told her, I hadn't seen her for months, and I told her that I started getting um, hot flashes. And she laughed, ha ha ha. So after dinner, we went to the Dollar Tree, which was conveniently next door. Uh, and she said to me during dinner, you should get one of those little fans that you put the batteries in. They always have them at the Dollar Tree. And I think that's when I said, um, well, I have to go next door afterwards because I have to exchange a, um, a frame for my daughter because she bought one too big. Do you want to come with me? And she said, sure. The moment we walk in the door, she said, here, Cheryl. And she reached and grabbed a little fan, handed to me. We laughed and I threw it in the cart and went by and bought batteries. The little Sunbeam batteries, you get a whole bunch of them for a dollar. They don't last very long, but I thought for something like this, they'd be fine. Um, this is, I guess I could wear it around my neck. And these are like uh, just uh, rubbery and... Because I told her I need to find my fan. I have one of those fans that you flip open and because I need it for church. And that's something you can fold. I can throw it in my purse or my, um, I have what I call my church tote because I'm old enough now to have a church tote. And that's where you keep snacks and drinks and hand wash things and fans and mints and gum and tissues, all that old lady church stuff, right? So anyway, um, I got this. I'm, I put it out on the table to remind me to put it in my purse for tomorrow because tomorrow's church and we'll find out. Ooh, that dried my lipstick. I only like matte lipsticks and I like when they dry. That feels good. All right. Um, let's see. Last night, my mother and my daughter and I went out. We went down the highway to a uh, a town that I've never been to before because my daughter went there the other night and um, she came across a shopping center that had a Dollar Tree and a Chinese restaurant. Uh, she took a picture of it and sent it to me. Look what I found. And uh, so yesterday was her day off and so we went and we asked my mom if she wanted to come too. The, the Chinese restaurant, it was our favorite buffet, and we had one in our area, and then there was that one down the highway that I had never been to. And then earlier this year, they closed mine, my favorite Chinese buffet that was always so delicious and small and, and delicious. And they closed it, and I was so upset. And uh, so here, I finally found out where the other branch is, plus a Dollar Tree we'd never been to. So we ventured out last night around six o'clock and we did the Dollar Tree first because I wasn't hungry yet. And it was, it, I thought it was a really big Dollar Tree, but once you got inside, it wasn't very big. I didn't find anything spectacular. If you could see the leaves, do you see where my finger is? There's two um, very glittered leaves with little clips on the back. Now they're not there for decoration, they're just there to get them off the table. And then I had to clean all the fallout from last night. So I might have to spray some hairspray on those to keep the glitter in under control. But uh, that was like my favorite find last night. And then I heard the, 
the cashier lady talking to another lady. No, we don't carry those things. We have what's considered a small store, so we don't get uh, a lot of what the bigger stores get in theirs. So I thought, well, that explains it because th that is a small one. So uh, anyway, I had fun going and investigating a new Dollar Tree because you know I like Dollar Tree. So anyway, um, we went, we put everything in the trunk and we walked over to the Chinese place. Uh, and it's, it's called um, Hong Kong Buffet. And this was pretty big as far as like all the seating and everything was concerned. It didn't feel like the cleanest. Like it just felt like the entire place needed to be degreased from top to bottom. The carpets were filthy, they needed to be replaced. It just didn't feel very clean, but I was excited to be at that place again. And, and I was happy to eat the food because I love that flavor. Um, so I went up twice, uh, once to get what I got and then twice to go back and get a, just a little bit of uh, my favorite things. Um, I eat mostly the meats, the different kind of chickens that they have. And I took a little bit of the lo mein, I never touched the rice. And, um, oh, I love the little crab, crab rangoons, or they might call them um, crab delights, depending on where you're at. It, if there's any crab in it, it's artificial. All you taste is the uh, cream cheese that's in it. And it's just this little purse that's deep fried and delicious. And I didn't eat any dessert or anything there. Um, so that's what we had. And while we were there, um, there was a clown. And on his tie, it said Jimbo. And he was going around the tables with the little kids and talking to them and making them laugh and everything. And I was like to, to my daughter, when we were getting food, I'm like, why is there a clown here? And she's like, I don't know. Cause it's, I'm not, it's not like we're afraid of clowns. Clowns. It, it was just weird to see a clown in a Chinese buffet. So we were thinking maybe Friday is kids night. You know, I don't know. So we sat down and then my mother went up. And when she came back, Chrissy, the two of them were facing me. And uh, Chrissy said, I saw you talking to the clown. What, what did you say to him? And uh, so I couldn't see that I had, they were to my back. And she said, oh, I just told him that I thought he looked really cute. So um, like two minutes later, we said grace and we're eating. And two minutes later, you could hear him coming. And he's like, I smell something. I smell something that smells like a birthday. And then he appeared right here, this big clown with big green hair and a little hat. And I immediately looked to my mother. And uh, they, she just cracked up really bad. And he's like, some little birdie told me it's somebody's birthday here and I think it's yours. And he's pointing at me and I was like, OMG, OMG. But yet I wasn't embarrassed because it was funny, but I looked at my mother and I called her by her full name, Leslie Space, what did you do? And she just, she just laughed, it was great. And so he said, um, he said happy birthday and everything. And he said, uh, what's your favorite color? And I said, pink. And he's like, I have pink. And he pulls out a pink balloon and he stretches it and he starts blowing it up. And he says, I'm gonna make you something. And he starts twisting it. And I said, is it a poodle? And he's like, yes, I'm making you a birthday poodle. And here it is. Here's my birthday poodle that Jimbo made me at the restaurant last night, complete with pom-poms on the head, the tail, and all four feet. There's my little birthday poodle from Jimbo. Say hi. So maybe I'll name him. I didn't think he'd live this long, but he did so far. That's because I haven't shown him to Gracie yet. Um, so we did that and that was fun. And then he sang me a birthday song. Um, it was hysterical. It was only two lines and I can't remember how it goes, but Chrissy said it was so great. That's what we're singing um, on Tuesday on your birthday. So if I could think of it, if she could remember it and I can learn it, um, 
then I'll I'll tell you what it is but it's stupid and uh, I just loved it it was really great so we finished our our dinner and then we left and on the way home we stopped at a brand new Starbucks in my area here as soon as we got off the highway there's a new one right here and it's got a drive-through and we surprised my mother because she's a Starbucks freak and we all got the same thing a, a small which I think they call a tall, but we just say, when I go to Starbucks, I'm like small, medium, and large, because I'm in America, and our sizes are small, medium, and large. So we said three small decaf skinny mocha lattes, please. And so that's what we had, and by the time we got home, I was done with mine, because we had to take my mother home first and then go home. And Chrissy and I have a habit of sitting in the car after we get home and the car's still running the music is still playing we played songs from greece the greece soundtrack all the way home and i was stuck in the back seat we took my car and um it's the first time i got to sit in my car if you pull the thing down from the middle it's got two um two drink holders there and i have my own air conditioning slash heat in front of me and it's very roomy so I didn't mind sitting there it was easy to put the seatbelt on um, but anyway we uh, we rocked home with the soundtrack from Greece and it was funny the three of us singing hopelessly devoted to you uh, so anyway when we get home Christy and I we sit in the car and we talk and we do things and uh, just in the car for five minutes ten minutes whatever like if we come home with ice cream We know we need to finish the ice cream cone before we get home uh, Or that could cause trouble And Luna just got off the sofa, but she's peeking outside. That's okay if she sits down at the window I'm gonna have to go uh, Because the dogs have been sick and that's my next That's my next story I'm just waiting to see what she's doing right now. She's still just peeking outside. All right, she wants to go outside. I'll be back. All right, we're back and I'm thirsty. I have water enhancer in here. It is a, a raspberry tea. One little packet is supposed to do a little bottle of water, the 16.9 ounce bottles. But that's too strong for me. So last night, I filled two cups this size up with water and put half of it in each one and put it in the refrigerator. So I've got two cups of tea today. And this is a cheapo Dollar Tree container. Um, I don't know if you can see inside there. There's a lower lip here. I have like a little, a little mesh cup that I can screw up inside there and put inside it like lemons or limes or what else you flavor water with uh watermelon even uh blueberries anything that you want to flavor your water with cucumbers and um anyway i don't use that i i unscrew it and and leave it in the cupboard and these little um i can and i will there's a big one and a little one. They came from the Dollar Tree as well. And I've had these on here for a long time and they wash nicely and everything. It's just a real good sticker. So I like this. I don't think they would fare well in the washing machine, but I mean dishwasher, but I don't use a dishwasher. So I have one, but I keep my pots and lids in it and I wash all the dishes by hand all the time because that's how I roll. So I took the dogs out one at a time, and uh, then when I came in, my dryer was buzzing. I had clothes in the, in the dryer and towels in the washer. And I had a couple shirts in there that needed to be taken out and hung right away, because uh, this homegirl does not iron. So it's wash, dry, hang, and wear, and that's it. So I took care of that quick and put my towels in the dryer. Chrissy's on a 24 today. So when she's on a 24, 
she does, well, at least one of those a week, if not more, but that's when I do my laundry. I keep the washer and dryer open to her throughout the week because you never know when she comes home late at night, she may have to wash something quick before work again early the next morning. So since I just have one load of towels and one load of clothes every week to wash, and that's not even a full load, um, I just wait until she's gone for a whole day and then I can take my time and do my thing. So laundry's crossed off the list. Um, oh, I was gonna tell you about the dogs quick. A few nights ago, Luna threw up in my room in four places on the rug. And it was that uh, yellow or white foamy spitty throw up because it was so far after dinner, she didn't have any food in her stomach. So it was just the foamy spit throw up, kind of like a dry heaves and all you've got is the spit. And then she did it the next night. But in between that, she ate normal and she was normal. But she threw up twice. Uh, the first time on my, it's almost white carpet in my bedroom. And then the second night she did it in my bed. And so all of my bedding had to be stripped. It got, it went right down to the, I have this protective sheet um, over, over my mattress. I have a sleep number and I bought a, um, because it's a very expensive bed, I bought a very expensive protector sheets that absolutely nothing will go through it. And I got it because we have two dogs and I've had to uh, use it because of them more than once. So anyway, all my bedding got clean. That was the day before yesterday. And then the night before last, Gracie threw up. She threw up late at night on the living room rug. Like, quick, where's a rug? I gotta puke. So then she threw up in her crate that night in bed. Again, all the spitty throw up, um, all the spitty stuff. Um, actually, no, the first time she threw up at night, she was on my lap on the recliner and I have, you know that blanket that I always have down, that pink blanket? She threw up on that, like just all of a sudden, like one minute she's just sitting there looking at me, the next minute, Egh. it's like she didn't realize what was happening. She is seven years old and when we got her, she was 10 months old. She threw up once the first week we got her and I figured it was because of nerves and a new change of food. She has never thrown up since. So I think she didn't even know what was happening to her. What's happening? So then it was on my blanket on my lap that night and then again in her crate in bed in my bedroom. She, so I woke up to that, you know, and um, I had to grab tissues and clean up the spitty throw up in her bed and um, then that yesterday morning, we didn't feed them right away because, well, Luna was uh, fasting because she had a vet appointment yesterday afternoon and they were doing blood work. So it was fasting blood work. So she went almost 24 hours without food. They said, don't feed her after, um, not 24 hours, that's wrong, 12 hours. Don't feed her after 4 a.m. And her appointment is at 4 p.m. So my daughter gave her food before bed so that she'd have a little something on her stomach until 4 p.m. the next day. I thought that was a little extreme. But anyway, um, Gracie came running out of Chrissy's room yesterday morning uh, like, Mommy, something's happening, and she was looking for me, and she ran onto the carpet and threw up in uh, a couple different places, all that foamy stuff again. And they had not eaten yet. And it was right after we got up and they had already gone outside to potty and I'm like, I don't know what's happening, but no one's ever eating again. So I made the rice and hamburg thing for dogs and gave Gracie by a spoon, fed her by spoon, just little tiny bits of things at noon. And then Luna went and had her appointment. She had three shots. She had um, a thermometer stuck up her butt. They said she had a slight fever. She has yeast on her four paws. Every now and then, this is the third time it's happened with her now. We notice she starts licking her paws a lot. And if you look really closely, they might be red in between. So we have to take her and they're like, yep, it's yeast, because they do a yeast test. So she goes on Apoquil, which helps with the itching. And then these little um, pads, 
that um, in a jar that looks like like Stridex, little medicated pads, you rub one of those on her paws uh, once a day, and we do it in the evening, and uh, it clears it right up. But why does she keep getting it back? And only her, not my dog. So anyway, um, and they found this little cyst on the back of her hip, and they stuck a needle in there and pulled out fluid. So she was stuck all over the place, plus the blood work. She had blood work done too. And um, then today I take her outside and she's got diarrhea. This was earlier in the day. Do you know how hard it is to scoop up diarrhea with a bag on your hand? It's not fun and it's not easy and I don't appreciate it. But that's what happened. So when I said, if she sits down by the door, I gotta go. Um, so, but we were out there for quite a while and all she did was pee twice, so I'm okay. But now Gracie only threw up the night before last, you know, that whole thing at night, in the middle of the night and in the morning and not since. And they've been eating the rice and beef and they seem fine otherwise. Other than that, they're perfectly fine. Like Gracie's running around like a, like a banshee carrying on, their noses are wet and cold and they're happy. Uh, so we don't know if something's gone through them or if they ate something outside because nothing inside changed. We don't know. But Luna's vet appointment was just her yearly thing. It just happened to, to be that she's got these issues in between. So they gave her something for nausea just in case and she took one yesterday and I'm wondering if that's what gave her the diarrhea or if it's the nerves that she went through yesterday at the vets. I don't know. They clipped her nails and they were going to express her um, anal glands, but while she was back there having all that stuff done, she expressed them herself all over them. So kudos to Luna for getting them back. Now Gracie has her appointment next Wednesday for um, her annual checkup and her shots, and I'll tell them what, I may or may not tell them that she threw up this past week. If that was just a weird thing, because dogs throw up, that's what they do. Some dogs eat grass on purpose to throw up. But these dogs just aren't throwy yuppy dogs, especially Gracie. So we'll see. Um, anyway, that's what we're dealing with with them. And uh, they're making me a wreck. I keep watching them. Every time one of them makes a noise, what is it? Are you okay? Are you going to live? I was so upset last night because we had to, um, you know, feed them dinner and everything and put them in the cage and leave. Are they going to get sick? What if someone throws up and they're in the crate and they're by themselves and nobody's home? What are we going to do? And we were gone for a while, like three and a half hours, which isn't bad. You know, I'm sure they just slept, especially Luna with all the stress she had just gone through because she didn't get home until after five o'clock and then we left around six. All right, enough bantering about the sick dogs. Um... My party plans have changed. I think I told you guys what I was gonna do for my party. I was really excited. I'm gonna invite a whole bunch of people and I'm gonna bake my own cake. And we're gonna have ribs and baked macaroni and cheese and biscuits with butter and forget the vegetables. And we're just gonna have a big party in the evening. And the closer it gets to it, the more upset I have become. And Chrissy asked me one day, what's wrong? Yeah, this was yesterday morning, and I told her, finally, I'm like, I don't know what to do about my birthday. I don't have the strength, the stamina, the energy, the drive, anything. I don't want to do any of that. The last thing I want to do is make ribs in the Instant Pot. I don't want ribs, and I've been pricing them, and they are expensive. There are certain times a year where pork is cheap as dirt, and uh, this is not that time. And I said, and I'm just not feeling it, and I don't know what to do, and and I don't want to bake my own cake. I feel terrible because I get so excited for my birthday and I want to bake whatever cake I, I found on Pinterest and, and I get really excited. Now they're running all over the place. Gracie, close the curtain, will you? She won't. She's the, you can't see her because she's short, but she's holding the curtain open. Gracie Lou, leave Lou alone. So um, anyway, Chrissy said, let me just buy you a bakery cake and we'll find easier things to make. And I said, but I need my biscuits and I want the baked macaroni and cheese. So we put our heads together and came up with fried chicken. You could just go to the grocery store or KFC and buy already cooked fried chicken. 
I said, that would go really good with the baked macaroni and cheese and the biscuits. And she said, you want them? Where do you want them from? And I said, the grocery store is fine. She said, how about KFC? I'm like, whatever. Just make it extra crispy then if you're going to KFC. So that's what she's gonna do. She's gonna get a bucket of extra crispy fried chicken. Hold on, get out of my room. Come on. I scrubbed my rug this morning in those areas to make them even cleaner. And I don't need anything happening. Stay out of my room. Go get your balls, go play. Savages. No, you're not coming up. Puke balls. Ugh. Anyway, so yesterday when we left, we went to uh, the grocery store that makes the best tasting cake and icing. And I ordered my cake, just a quarter sheet cake, uh, the way I wanted it. Who knows what it's going to look like. And we're going to make our baked macaroni and cheese and biscuits. And that's the only thing I have to make. And I can make the baked macaroni and cheese the day before, just not bake it make it and throw it in the oven. And then an hour before dinner, I mean, throw it in the refrigerator the day before and an hour before dinner, just throw it in the oven and make my biscuits. And that's all I'm gonna have to do. And Chrissy's gonna go out and pick up the cake and bring home the chicken and that's it. She bought a bunch of stuff yesterday when she went out by herself to decorate with. And she knows I just like autumn, autumn decorations, autumn colored decorations. We have not decorated at all in this house for autumn. It's the first time as far as long as I can remember that I haven't decorated, but that's just what I've been going through inside. Last thing I wanna do is, is anything, really, and I don't understand why I'm like this. It's gotta be the Hashimoto's because I'm just so whatever. I have no drive, no motivation to do anything. You've been seeing um, less videos from me because I'm just like, no. There were a couple videos I did this past week that um, I recorded them out in the car and stuff and then I deleted them, deleted all the videos. I didn't even put them together to make one, one movie. Um, I just got rid of them because I'm like, no, this thing's three days old, no one's gonna care and I just deleted it. But that's just what I've been going through. My ring will not stay. It's too big for one hand and too small for the other. This is one of my favorite rings for October. It is an opal that my husband and kids got me. Um, opal and there are five, six, seven, eight diamonds, which you really can't see, four on each side in a gold setting, really tiny. Um, I love it. I've got three or four opal rings that I break out every October to wear because opal rings or stones and pink tourmaline are my uh, birthday stones. So I love them. Anyway, let's move on. So that's what we're doing. We invited, uh, there's gonna be me and my mother and Chrissy and my friend Diane, my husband, and my friend Kathy, if she can make it. You know Kathy. Um, from my last neighborhood. So the six of us, that's it. I didn't invite anybody else. And we're just gonna have Kentucky Fried Chicken Chicken with my baked macaroni and cheese that I grew up with and my homemade biscuits. Oh, and I'm making green beans, blistered green beans. We're gonna get a bag of fresh green beans and I'm gonna make blistered green beans, that's it. Um, and we're doing it from two to four. We're actually giving a time limit. Birthday party from two to four. Because I said, I don't wanna be busy in the kitchen cooking and baking all day long and then have this 20 minute dinner and some cake and the rest of the day be wasted because we had it at night, at dinner time at five or six o'clock. You know, and then sit around for hours and talk and, and all that. I said, I would like to have the party done early so that I have the rest of the day to do something. So now I'm more excited because I don't have to do any major cooking and I get to have the party earlier, and then um, then we can go out. Maybe Christine can I, and I can go to the movies or, or something, you know what I mean? Or just sit around and relax, whatever. So those are my um, the birthday changes that I made for myself for next Tuesday, and I'm excited about that. Now, let's move on. I have um, two more things I wanna to talk to you about. I got friend mail. Somebody dropped this off, well, the mailman dropped this off at my front door and knocked on it and really upset the dogs. Um, 
So I want to open this and I got three diamond art packages from Wish that I already opened last night because one of them was Chrissy's and she wanted to see it before she went to bed. So I already opened them and we looked at them, but I'll show you and I'm expecting one more. But I'm not going to do the other Wish Haul stuff. That'll be a separate video. But this package came from my good friends, Beck and John Grady. Um, her channel is Beck's Corner and his channel is Grady's Station where he does gaming. So you can check them out. And um, I need to make sure that this is okay. I wasn't expecting this, so I didn't know. Um, but I need to make sure it's okay that I can share this. So I'm gonna open it up and look for um, a note or something inside that says um, yes or no. Here is a, uh, a card, it clearly, for me, clearly, let's see. Okay, it does not say anywhere that I can't share it. So it is a birthday card from uh, Beck and John. And there is a bulldog, and I do believe, I believe that's a bulldog, right? That That is uh, one of Beck's favorite breeds, something that she would very much love to have someday, and I don't blame her. Look at that face. Look at that face. And it is uh, from John and Beck, and they got me, you see that? This is, they went to the, um, to the shore a couple weeks ago, and they spent like two or three days there with her parents, and uh, this is um, saltwater taffy, right? Sugar-free and low sodium salt water taffy. Now that was very thoughtful. I did not see that that was sugar free and it's taped shut. What are you guys doing? Mmm, all I smell is like a peppermint. There must be a peppermint or up front, up, yeah. Mmm, I smell peppermint and I smell sugar. Thank you so much, sugar-free candy. I can only have like one or two of these at a time. And these are from Ocean City, New Jersey, which is where they went, and they are soft, OMG. Thank you so much, Beck and John. I am going to love these. I'm not gonna have one now because I'll be chewing like a cow with cud. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday to me. That's my first birthday present and my first birthday card. I'm gonna put my card somewhere. Maybe I'll get rid of all that junk up there. Oh, that's where I put the poodle back when I was doing the, taking the dogs out. That's where I kept it all night. Um, but maybe I'll clear all that junk out and put my birthday cards there. Thank you, thank you. All right, let us, let, let us, let us move on to the diamond art. Uh, the first one I have here is Chrissy's. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the whole thing, and these aren't really huge, but this is a tree, Chrissy loves trees. And it's like a nighttime tree. And uh, like a tree of stars, lots of blue and lots of yellow. And Lord only knows when she's ever going to have the time to do this. This is a nice canvas. And this is the first I've ever seen clear plastic. Usually there's like a, a paper over it that you can't see through it. And with every kit, you get your, your little utility kit with everything you need, the sticky stuff, the tray. I don't like this tray because the front of it's not open to pour it back in. And then you get the little um, appliance tool and all of her colors, her little drills. They're called drills, but I call them beads and the instructions and everything are inside here. The first thing you have to do when you get one of these is to do inventory of your drills and make sure you have everything you're supposed to have according to the, uh, to the key along the side here. And that tells you how much, um, all the colors that you need. And then you need to open up your colors and put them in something. I have something I'll show you in a minute 
what I used on my last one. I only ever did one of these before, and uh, it's already hanging on the wall, so. All right, now this one is mine. This one is small, and it's gonna be quick. This is a tree, an autumn tree. It's mostly orange, but if you look closely, the white background, uh, you don't have to put anything on it. And there are literally five colors. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. One, one packet of each of the five colors and one of these. So this is a, this isn't a complete one. What do they call that? I can't remember. Where like the one that I just showed you for Chrissy's, every single square inch of it is going to have the drills. This one isn't. Only where you see color is where we're gonna be putting the drills on this. It's very sticky, very sticky. So this one is mine. Um, and it's all very orange, orange and yellow. Um, but I might change that a little and I'll show you in a minute. Here's one that I got that I, I really didn't want. And I got one of these and here's my little pack with all of my colors and instructions. And this is what it looks like. It says, home is where my dogs are. And there's a little heart and a bunch of uh, paw prints. And it's all, all gray and black, as you can see, from the different drills in here. There's lots of them. Can't open it. It doesn't want to open. Um, and it's this big. And I had decided I didn't want it, but they said it was too late. They said you can't... Um, we can't cancel it for you, it's too late. It's already been ordered. I got these from Wish, and I got them for pennies, literally just a couple dollars each. Uh, not a lot at all, so I'm not gonna complain. Now, this is how I handled my last one. This big thing here, I have, in here I have these tools and everything that came with it. Do you see how this is open on the end? Because then you can pour your excess back into where you were keeping your beads. And it also came with some tweezers, which I used a lot. And uh, these little bags, which are useless to me. I don't know why I kept them. And that entire project I did took this much of the sticky stuff out of this whole thing. That's it right there. So it doesn't take a lot. There's a rogue bead. And then what I did was every one, I used these little cups from the Dollar Tree. I put the number and the, um, the symbol. This was a V. And I put the number and I stuck them in here. And that's how I dealt with everything. Here's a number and a three. And I just filled this whole thing with them. And uh, all you have to do is use rubbing alcohol to remove this because I didn't have enough of these. And, or if I made a mistake, I would use rubbing alcohol and uh, just take it off and then with a marker, just write the next um, information on it. So here's F, it's a weird looking F, but that's my F and S. But anyway, what I'm getting at is um, that tree that I showed you with the orange and the yellow, I have many shades of brown and beige, lots of different shades, lots. And I thought maybe I might add some different color to it because I'm not a big orange fan. So maybe I'll add different things, take away some of the orange. I like the shade, there's two shades of yellow and some red and I'll keep that. But I think I'm gonna customize the color on that tree to make it my own. Normally after you finish one of these, you can just get rid of uh, the beads but I'm glad I kept them because I'm gonna utilize some of the, the brown and the, and, the, and the tan in here and just make my own tree. So I'll keep you posted on, on what that's gonna look like when it's done. And I think that's all I have to show you for an update today. I didn't eat breakfast until around 12.30. I just wasn't hungry. Okay, we didn't get up until almost 10. Um, and then I had a sandwich. I had uh, a simple sandwich with one of those little cups of guacamole. 
holy guacamole for three points and some three points worth of pretzels because I used the pretzel, little mini pretzels to, um, to dip in the guacamole and then I had the sandwich. And then uh, this is the tree, the, the tea that I drank with my breakfast. So I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm like skipping a meal, but I don't feel like I'm gonna need another two full meals today. Maybe a snack later on and then dinner tonight. I have rotisserie chicken and I'm going to um, throw a sweet potato in the oven again because, not the oven, the microwave, because those are delicious. And uh, these dogs are weird. You guys are weird. Stop being so weird. Gracie, you wanna come here and say hi mm -hmm. quick? Mm -hmm. Hold on. All right, come on up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, okay, okay, get out of my face, get out of my face. Okay. So here's Gracie. Gracie's gonna say hi. Come on, I have to clean the table, so you might as well come up. Get up. Oh, she got me all wet. So that's Gracie. Look, you wanna smell something? Mmm, this is from Beck. Yeah, you wanna smell it too? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, yeah, mmm. I think your body's in the way. Come here, turn around. Turn, turn and say hi, turn. Say hi. There she is. There's my Gracie Lou. My little Gracie. Hiya. Hiya. Gracie, say hi. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at that cute little face. Okay, you want to get down? Oh, I kissed you and I have lipstick on. That's not good. All right, so this is my Saturday. This is what I'm doing. I got one load done. Towels in the dryer. Chicken for dinner. I'm not going anywhere. I'm catching up on some YouTube channels, and that's it. That's all I'm doing today, and I thought I would just share what's going on with you today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded because it's going to be a long video. This one is 30 minutes, and I can't remember what it was before I took the dogs out. Probably going on 20 minutes, and so when I edit it, I'll probably chop out, chop out, cut out um, all the dumb junk and hope I didn't forget anything. Wanna get down? Okay, bye-bye. All right, so until I see you again, have a great rest of your weekend and be blessed. Bye-bye.